You will own nothing and like it as the plan is now becoming even more clear to all of us than ever before. And I'm not sure if you guys remember, but the Federal Reserve wants us on a digital currency, perhaps a CBDC. And if what happened in Canada is a prelude to what's coming here in the United States, well, I'm really not looking forward to it. Uh, one of those truckers is Derek Brower, says his personal and business accounts were frozen because he was part of it. He joins me now. Derek, good morning to you. What have you gone through and what's your status today? Good morning. 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 Um, well, we, uh, yeah, as you know, we went in the protest and uh, the police waved us into that, into that parking spot. And uh, since then, I haven't heard any, anything from them or the government as per se. Um, and in the end of it all, they've, uh, they've taken my truck. I don't know where it is. And uh, yeah, they, on Friday, they uh, locked up my personal and trucking business accounts. And this morning, they locked up my as well. I had a little so. bit of a break up there at the end, Eric. I'm sorry, but they, they locked up your trucking accounts, which means you can't work. Yeah. Is that right? That's right. And then also we have another business and they locked that account up too. And it had nothing to do with it. Unbelievable. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Um, man, I'm sorry what you're going through. It, is this all over now? Is it done? I, I don't know. I, I don't know where, I, I don't know anything. Nobody's called me or said what's going to happen in the future. Um, I don't know. So the message is clear. If you step out of line, we are taking everything, not just what you're protesting for every single account that you have. They're not going to care if it's related to your protest or not. Just know that if they think that it's yours, then it's most probably going to get frozen. And what you have to realize here, and this is kind of the mind blowing thing about all of this, is that while this happened to their accounts, I'm talking normal bank and business accounts. But while this happened, they also want to put in a centralized dollar that is completely transparent to them. They will have free will to check everything that you purchase everywhere you go. I mean, if you step out of line this time, there goes your entire life. That's the fear that many have with the CBDC and it's completely warranted because just like I showed you guys, freezing an account is nothing to them. And I'm not even going to start with this freedom of speech because I've seen it firsthand with my views here, especially when I talk about controversial topics that may possibly stomp on some toes, which is why I hope you guys can like this video because this is pretty much the only way that this message gets across to more people that and by subscribing to the channel and hope that my daily videos get to you guys in a timely manner. I appreciate that you guys, but think about a dollar that they can program, right? Now, this is more of just my idea, but say that they connect this to, I don't know, climate change. If you gas up a little bit too much for the month, it means that you're going to different places, right? Nah, it'd be like you traveled way too far for 30 days. So we're going to go ahead and freeze your bank accounts from buying any more gas. Oh, do you like buying steaks? Uh, too bad. Your carbon footprints just a little bit too large for our liking and you just can't buy that anymore either thinking of buying that gas power generator too bad your card's going to be declined because it doesn't follow the message that we're trying to put out to the people let's not forget that they can literally program money to disappear from accounts if they wanted to because they could just put an expiration date on it central banks have authority to control money supply but their actions to restrict a digital currency would have a more immediate effect leaving companies holding that currency all the more vulnerable for example, Fenusi says China's central bank could put an expiration date on the digital money, similar to how lottery winnings have to be spent before a certain date. It means that the Chinese government could set up a whole lot of things to have your currency maybe valid or invalid based on its own priorities. This is almost like handing over the keys to your business or to your finance department in some ways because you really can't control what at the end of the day may happen with the, the funds that you're holding. One of the fears that I have for this currency is how they're going to convince us to get it. Because if you're part of this community, well, people here are incredibly sharp and smart. Not many of you guys will actually fall for the bait, you know? But what if they try something that's worked before? You see, our economy is in the dumps, the absolute dumps. Now, just imagine if they said, hey, we noticed that you're short on cash. How about $2,000? We'll give you this money so long as you agree to a CBDC. Better act fast because this money expires by 2024. You see where I'm going with this? By the way, if you own a home, make sure your home is protected. Get your free home warranty quote. There's a link in the description down below this video. Now, this is why I advocate for physical assets, why I myself am invested in things that you can actually see and touch without the need of a phone or computer screen. You know what I'm saying? Physical assets. Physical assets hold their value better than paper assets and can generate income. They also provide a hedge against inflation.
Physical assets tend to increase in value during inflation, unlike paper assets that decrease in value. Real estate, businesses, collectibles, and precious metals can appreciate in value over time. You know what the best thing is about something that's physical? You actually have some physical control over it. That's the key word, right? Control. I think it was Henry Kissinger who once said that if you control the food, you control the nation. If you control the energy, you control the region. And if you control the money, you control the world. And you know, sure, the dollar is the global reserve currency right now. I mean, even Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is confident that this will be the trend moving forward for the world. But you gotta ask, for how much longer? The uh, Russian uh, government has announced that the, uh, it will launch a BRICS currency in August. And I wonder if you had a chance to speak with the Chinese about that effort. You've spoken here and in, in other venues about not wanting to see any countries being forced to choose sides. This particular move would create essentially a parallel currency to the U.S. as the world's reserve currency. Can you you know, that come up in your conversations. And you also talked about the um, head of the BOC. The Chinese government has not yet announced that he will be taking place. Is it your understanding that Pan, Pan will take over as central bank governor? Thank you. So on the currency issue, I just want to reiterate what I've said in the past, which is I think the United States can rest assured that the dollar is going to play the dominant role in international uh, transactions, facilitating international transactions, and um, serving as a reserve currency in the years ahead. Um, I don't see that role being threatened by any development, um, including the one, one that you've mentioned. Uh, I've said previously and would reiterate that um, because of the role of the dollar and its um, ability to enable us to um, implement sanctions, there certainly is motivation in countries around the world to find an alternative. But um, all the data of which I'm aware shows that the dollar is overwhelmingly close to 90% um, used in international transactions. And I don't think that there is a, an alternative that could possibly displace that for the foreseeable future. So basically, she's admitting that the dollar has a huge kick me sign right behind it. And the BRICS nations, they're starting to get their shoes ready. But what do you guys think about all this? Is this now the time to invest in assets that we can hold and touch? Or should we just kind of wait and see what happens? Make sure you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. And before I go, I want to thank you guys so much for dropping a like for the video. Thank you for subscribing. And I'm going to catch up with you guys on the next one.